Hey, what's up, people? And today I'm gonna do a tutorial for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Well, not only one, but two tutorials. Uh, but the first one right now is gonna be focusing on people with a digital copy because they're getting their red screen. And I already helped about 10 people that were having this issue and everything worked perfectly. So they're happy and they're genning Pokemon. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna need JKSM. Yeah, JKSM and download it just press right here you download it and extract it i mean or unzip it whatever it is and add it to your sd card and you're good to go second step make sure you have pokebank download from the eShop. it's free just download it and install it if you're going to use it then you have to pay for it but once again we're not going to be opening pokebank okay now let's get started with the first half of the tutorial second half is going to work for digital and cartridge so second tutorial is going to be for everybody okay so we're going to go to jke save manager and very important do not select your game yet go to pokebank and pokebank will allow us to bypass a yellow screen or red screen whatever it is but at times i notice that it does give the yellow screen on pokebank so if it does give it to you then pretty much launch homebrew again jk save manager and then pokebank just keep on trying um it's not that stable but it should work all right perfectly so no yellow screen all right now you're gonna see cartridge SDCIA and you're gonna see all these right here. So with people with digital copy go to SDCIA and look for your game. Alright. So select your game, go to save data options. I'm gonna press export and yeah. After that you could rename your your file i would rename it to the name of the pokemon game so it could be easier to identify and once you do that you can remove your sd card and start genning whatever you want and once you're done for instance i don't have my sd card okay bad but once you're done genning put your sd card back exit out of jksm gonna bring you back to the launcher go back to JKSA manager go to pokebank all right hopefully it doesn't go on the yellow screen perfect then go back to SDCIA select your game go to save data options and for save then you're gonna see your file that you renamed and just press A and it's gonna import that data that you genned and that's it. There's nothing else to it. You should be good to go. Any questions, feel free to ask. And this works 100%. All right, and this is the same method you would use for Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire for cartridge and digital. All right, so let me exit out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my SD card right now. And once you insert your SD card, and when you back up your data, you're gonna see a folder called JKSV. You could just click it and you go to saves. And as you can see, Pokemon Moon, that's the file I renamed to. All right. So now let's get to the second half of the tutorial. Open up your PK hex. I mean, you could do it if you're doing the digital copy. You could just do everything at once if you want to. Up to you. But this is gonna be for digital and cartridge. Okay. So <clears throat> once you have um, your SD card inside and you open up PK hex, you should see whatever Pokemon you have stored in your game. All right. If you click on Trainer Info, you could see that it has all this much money 
100,000. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna add about you know what I'll just leave it like this so 99,999 and the trainer name I'll change I'll delete the K so you guys can see trainer ID I'll just leave it like that it doesn't matter you could change your game date started your hall of fame entered you could change your date to whatever you like and you should see your badges map here all right so once you're satisfied with what you want to rename your character and add whatever money you want you just click save the only thing you cannot change your email I mean your gender all right so once you're done, just press save. Now we go to items. As you can see, we have all these items right here. Potion 36, Awakenings, we have 36 of them. Other 36, Antidote, I only have one. Paralyzio, one. Okay, so I could just edit them and I'll just put 40. And then I could just put 40 there. And once with that say none, you could just click it and just click on this arrow and you could just select whatever you want and when I add, let me add a hyper potion let me see if I have it here all right hyper potion as you can see we have zero I'm just gonna put 99 and I'll add some more items here I'm gonna add some fresh water I'll add 99 okay so now, right here, you have your Pokeballs. So I'm gonna put 100 Master Balls. 100 Pokeballs. And you could pretty much add your Mega Stones. You could add the Blue Orb. You could add um, basically Fossils. And anything you want here all right, all right. So, let's so let's add a um... okay what else I could add all right let's see what I want to add here all right let's add a fame orb here I'm gonna add four of them okay and this is your TM. I'm not gonna add no TMs yet. All right, your berries, Chesco berry. I'm gonna add it to 100. All right, what other berries I could add? I'm gonna add a Lepa berry if I could find it. All right, Lepa berry. I'm gonna add 100. All right. Zeroing, I'm not gonna mess with these items here. The key items, I'll just let it be. And I'll add some Z moves here. I'll add one. All right. And once you're done, you can just click save, file, export, export main. Alright, now you close your game. I mean, Puggy Pickaxe and it's your SD card. Alright, I'm gonna go back to JKSM. So remember, if you have the digital, just go through Puggy Bank and then go to select your game, then go SID, and you know the steps. Okay, so me, I'm gonna go select Pokemon Moon. If it does give you a yellow screen, then pretty much launch Homebrew again and just redo. You don't have to redo the steps, just launch it and then just go to import. And I'm gonna go import Pokemon Moon. Are you sure you want to import Pokemon Moon? Okay. 
You can see it says finished. I guess I could just exit. All right, all right, and I'm gonna reboot. Okay, she loaded right now. So yeah, pretty much you don't have to go look for your items. You could just basically add them while you're genning and makes everything much easier. All right, as you can see, I had my name Eric with the K at the end, but I removed it. I'm gonna select it. And go into the game. If I go to my bag, as you can see, awakening antidote, paralyzed heal, other hyper potion, fresh water. As you can see, those are the items in there. Pokeball, master ball. I don't think I could add a hundred yet. But, I mean, because I did add a hundred, but as you can see, it only gave me thirty-six. But it does show that it works. Same orb. Third of the night, X and Y, Master Ball, Pokeball. I guess we cannot add more than that, I'm not sure yet. Chest of Berry, Lap of Berry. So I guess that's the limit for now. And as you can see, we have the Z Crystals. So that's what they're called, Z Crystals. Just forgot what they were called. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, you found this video interesting, which. I kind of did find this interesting, you don't have to be looking for your items, and you can just add them. Alright guys, once again, thanks for watching, if you liked the video, hit the like button, if you didn't, then hit the dislike button. If you want to support the YouTube channel, then hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys into the next video. Peace out.